What's up, Future Airsofter? My name is Jet Desert Fox, and I'm here at the evike.com Superstore in Alhambra, California, and I'm going to be your guide on how to purchase your first airsoft handgun. Airsoft handguns. Now, there are three types of airsoft handguns. Blowback, non-blowback, and electric. Let's take a closer look as to what the differences are between these types of handguns. Blowback airsoft handguns. Now, with blowback airsoft handguns, the slide or the upper portion of the handgun will action or move back and forth every time you pull the trigger, making this blow back. Blowback handguns are normally powered by either green gas or 12 gram CO2. Loading your CO2 powered handgun. To load the CO2 powered handgun, you're gonna take your magazine and your 12 gram. Load the 12 gram CO2 into the CO2 chamber, take the tool, screw it in, you'll hear a little noise indicating that the CO2 cartridge has been punctured, load it into the handgun, cock it, the gun is now ready to fire. To load your green gas powered handgun, you're going to take your can of green gas, take the top off. Take your magazine, you want to hold the magazine upside down and then insert the green gas can in the fill valve, which is located right here. So you're going to take this pin right here and insert it into this fill valve, all upside down, just like a butane lighter. You're going to hold the can down on the magazine for four to six seconds. At that point, you're going to release Load the magazine into the gun. Rack the slide, the gun is now ready to fire. Non-blowback handguns. With non-blowback airsoft handguns, the slide is fixed, meaning that this slide will not move back and forth when fired. When you fire the gun, it will simply just shoot BBs out. Non-blowback airsoft handguns can also be powered by green gas or CO2. Now, for a non-blowback handgun, it can be either green gas powered or CO2 powered. This gun happens to be CO2 powered. Now, just like the other CO2 powered gun, we're going to unscrew the cap right here, insert the 12 gram, and insert it into the gun. Now, unlike the blowback, the non-blowback, all we have to do is insert the gun, insert the magazine into the gun, and begin firing the trigger, and the gun will start shooting. So there's no need to rack the slide or anything like that. Electric powered handguns. Now electric powered handguns are just that. They're powered by a battery as opposed to green gas or CO2. They normally just fire and are normally non-blowback. That's pretty much all there is to electric handguns. Now to load your electric powered handgun, you're obviously going to open up the battery compartment, insert the batteries accordingly, close the compartment up and begin firing. Very simple. All right, now that all the guns are loaded up, let's shoot them and I'm gonna point out the differences between the blowback and the non-blowback. All right, first we have the 1911 CO2 powered blowback handgun. The gun is loaded with BBs and CO2. I'm going to insert the magazine into the gun, move the slide back, release the slide. The gun is now ready to fire. Now as you can see, when I fire the gun, the slide moves back and forth. Now after I fire the last BB, the slide will lock back to the rear, just like a real gun, indicating that there are no more BBs in the gun and it needs to be reloaded. All right, next we have the USP non-gas blowback. This is the CO2 powered version. All right, there is a 12 gram CO2 and BBs loaded into the magazine. All right, we're going to simply load the magazine and begin firing. As you can see, when the gun is fired, the slide does not move back and forth. It simply fires BBs out of the gun. Now, when the gun, is, when the gun expels all its BBs, it's just going to dry fire, meaning that no BBs will come out, but you can still pull the trigger and air will expel out of the gun. Alright, next we have the WE-M9PTP 
This gun is gas powered. This gun has been loaded with green gas and BBs. Again, load the magazine, move the slide to the rear, release, the gun is now ready to fire. And as you can see with the green gas blowback handgun, every time the, the, the trigger is pulled, the slide moves back and forth. And just like the CO2 powered one, once the last BB is expelled, the slide will lock to the rear, indicating that all the BBs have been fired out of the gun. Selecting which handgun best suits you comes down to style and functionality. With style, you'll want to choose what type of handgun you want. Maybe a 1911, an M9, or any other kind of variant. With functionality, you have the choice between the realism of a gas blowback or just the straight functionality of a non-blowback or electric handgun. Here are my top three picks for best beginner airsoft handgun. Number three, the HK45 Compact. This gun is full metal, has a rail, has good, good magazine capacity at 22 rounds, and is just a good quality gun. And this comes in at around $144. And number, coming in at number two is the Elite Force 1911 TAC. This gun comes in at around $119. It comes with a rail, a thread adapter for mock silencers or suppressors, and is CO2 powered. And my number one pick for best beginner airsoft handgun is the WE M9 CQB PTP. All right, let's go a little bit more in depth as to why this gun is my number one pick. Now the WE M9 CQB PTP is my number one pick because it's gas powered. I like gas powered. The round capacity is 26 plus one in the chamber. And on the gun itself, you have a rail attach, you have rails right here so you can attach lights and lasers. And it comes with a threaded barrel so you can add a su mock suppressor or silencer. And coming in at around $99 retail, it's not gonna break your budget. So this is my number one pick for a good beginner airsoft gun. This is the WE M9 CQB PTP. That's going to wrap up this brief beginner's guide to buying your first airsoft handgun. If you'd like more information on any of the guns featured, visit www.evike.com. Thanks for watching, and as always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. Styles or platforms of airsoft guns. Thank you, Toby. First, we've got the Steyr AUG, which is a bullpup design.